What is up, YouTube? Wolf here with another Pokemon Scarlet Violet video. In today's video, I did a poll, like, yesterday or a couple days ago, where I asked what your guys' favorite, like, weather setter is. And I think it was it was a tie between T Tyranitar and Obama Snow for a while, and then like I guess some more votes came in, and Tyranitar kind of just take took the uh, the spotlight. So here we are with the Sandstorm team. I am kind of happy that those two were the highest pick because I know that in the like I think the World Tournament and stuff, uh, it was mostly you know rain and fire that were the top picks. After we did you know the Torkoal video, I, you I can see why. I mean it's great. Um, so, like, Titar and Obama Snow are definitely off meta picks. Um, I tried to base the team around the Sandstream uh, effect. So, we've got the Houndstone that's got Sand Rush. So, what that happens, or what that means, is while, sand ru or while the Sandstorm is up, Houndstone's speed is doubled. So, I'm just max attack, max speed on him with the spell tag. It'll probably be one of the last Pokemon we want to bring in after other Pokemon have fainted and try and clean up things. Um, We've got Gastrodon to kind of keep the rest of my rock types safe from water type moves because of the storm drain. Then it can lower people's speed. It's got, well, it's got double AoE moves and it's got forms of recover. Then we have Glamora, which I might lead with uh, T-Tar at the start just to get that 50% special defense boost. Um, but... I love Glamora. Mortal Spin poisons both Pokemon on the other side, plus gets rid of any hazard energies on our side. And the Pokemon's just really good overall. Then we have Golden Go. Yet again, another OP Pokemon, which we didn't see too much at the uh, the World Championships. I think I saw him on like one of the teams, and that was about it. But um, I think mine is like max HP max speed because he's got such a crazy high special tech already and then after one nasty plot he could probably do whatever he wants and we're all like four bells so and also while the sand streams up since he's still typing he won't be affected by it so and then last but not least is sylveon just something to, uh, to round up the team a little bit um i do realize that my team is pretty special attack heavy so we'll try and work around that I just wanted to get a team together to get you guys a video because I know it's been a couple few days. <laughs> I spent so much time building, uh, well I had Glamora, I essentially built the top three because I already had Sylveon, Glamora, and Golden Go built. I had to rebuild the top three for different stats and stuff, so that's what took me so long. Same if I do the snow team, it's going to be the same way. But yeah, so here's the Sandstream team, and like normal, if I can get two or more wins with the team, I'll leave it as rental. If I don't, then I'll just go back to the drawing board with it and I'll try and do something else. But, with all that said, let's go ahead and find our three matches. Alright, we have our first opponent of the day, Roy. Um, oh, so he's got a Sun team. Well, that'll be interesting to work around. Uh, let's see here. What do we want to do? Hmm. Um, hmm. I think I do want to go with Glamora to start off things. I don't know if they're, I don't know if they're gonna bring Torkoal or not, but I guess we'll just have to see. I guess we can bring in Gastrodon also, and then I'll bring Titar in the back, and then I mean he's got Body Press. He can take a hit. It's most likely gonna be a Guts, uh, Ursa Luna. Uh, yeah, um, I guess we'll go with Houndstone last, and we'll just see what happens. This is what I want to do. I guess this is what I'm going to do. I guess this is what we're going to do. Uh, we'll see. They have a very interesting team comp, so... The Cresselia is kind of annoying. Well, let's see how this team does. Okay. Oh my Glamora definitely does not like that. Special defense went up. It's fair. Um hmm. I mean they could just spam like 
AoE moves in a way. I guess we'll do this. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wonder if Hatterene has the magic bounce, which would be really problematic for me. Okay, I guess we'll start off this way, and I guess I'm just going to go for like a muddy water. And we'll see what happens. I'll uh, just go for protect. I wonder if they're setting up trick room. be connected. Didn't do any damage, but hey. Alright, so the trick room is up. Okay, so now we have a we have an issue here. I'm actually going to just spiky shield here. And I guess I'm just gonna keep muddy watering. I just gotta try and burn these turns of... Well... Oh, we're still slower than her. That did okay damage. Dazzling Gleam does not feel good, though. Okay, it didn't do too much. Oh, there's turn one. Ugh. I guess we'll swap you in, and I guess I'm gonna just keep doing muddy water. They didn't really do any damage to my uh, my uh, gastrodon, so we'll see what happens here. Okay. Oh, what if he's got like a I don't, I have no, I've uh, never really, this is my, our first Arsaluna in rank for me, so. Alright, so we got a good prediction there. Okay, so it does have the flame orb. I imagine he's not going to be very nice to us. I'm honestly going to switch back. And yeah, I think I'm... I kind of want to just keep doing this. I'm just trying to burn turns of... Uh... Yeah, I'm just trying to burn turns of uh... Trick Room at this point. Okay, they're probably just trying to go for like a one shot. Okay, that'll that'll get rid of the the weakness to my water moves. Okay, so predicted that pretty good. Okay, so it's got life orb. Facade that'll probably KO my Gastrodon. Yeah. Well, now he's affected by it, too, so it's like double doozy. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this in. I'm probably going to tear my T-Tar. Although I really don't want to. I kind of feel like doing this. I think I'm gonna do this. Alright, how many turns of uh, Trick Room are left? One. This is literally the last turn. Okay. So we're gonna do Spiky Shield here. And I'm gonna Terra. Low kick this thing. It is the biggest threat on here. It might one shot me, honestly. Well, it depends on what he went for. I'm 
So we got the spiky shield. Alright. And he went for... Oh! That was close. Not gonna lie, that was really close. But we'll get the low kick. Alright, so that, that's a huge threat god. Let's go back to normal. Right, so what are you bringing in now? King Gamut could be a huge problem for us. Not gonna lie, King Gamut could be a big problem. Think about what they want to bring in. <sighs> okay, the NDD comes back out. I don't have any priority moves, so I really don't care either way. Um, I'm honestly considering just going for a Earth Power and a a rock slide. Okay, well I'm happy I went for the rock slide then. And then we should be back. Yeah. Right, so we get a double KO here. So now it's is now it's three verse one. Uh, we don't know what the last Pokemon is though. Oh, there goes the are Now it's 2v1. Oh, boy. But honestly, if I had not teared, I would have just been one shot by the uh, headlong rush. Alright, so what's your last Pokemon? Torkoal. Well, they didn't get the Trick Room up, which is good for us. I'm just going to go for Power Gym, and we're just going to go for Last Respect. <laughs> yes, we got a win! Let's go! Alright, okay, okay, okay. We were able to survive Trick Room, be in Ursaluna. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in the second match. All right, we have our second match against iFlygon. And they are running, yet again, another Ursaluna team. Hmm. Only thing... Oh, boy. Um, hmm. This is kind of annoying for us. Okay, um, I think I'll do the same lead again. I don't think T-Tar is going to be very good here for this one. Um, Houndstone's not bad. Golden Go's not bad either. Golden Go's actually pretty decent here. <sighs> um, I mean, Sylveon does okay. Go for uh, we'll bring Houndstone on the back. Okay, we'll see what happens. Lots of Cresselias and Ursulinas today. I mean, they're great Pokemon. I can't, I can't deny my opponent choosing them. 
But since we're climbing with like off meta Pokemon, this is a challenge for us. Alright, so we got Cresselia, Ursula Luna. Alright, so let's think here. I'm honestly going to start off with this, and I'm just going to start spamming Muddy Water. I don't know what the Cresselia build is going to be. He just goes straight up for Earthquake. That's fair. I mean, yeah, that'll one-shot my... A little more... That almost one-shots my Astrodon. I mean, we connect with Muddy Water. I guess that's nice. Did okay damage. I'll go for Trick Room. Well, I'll spend my Gastrodon, so... So I guess I can buy a little bit more time. And then I guess I'm just going to go for some more Muddy Waters. Because uh, the Ursula Mount speeds my Gastrodon. I wonder if they're wanting to get rid of the ground typing on the... Uh, on yeah, him. Oh, they go to water. Okay. That's fair. You'll get to live a turn. We're slower than everything. What surprises me we was we've not gotten any accuracy drops with Muddy Water, but we've connected though, I guess. But I guess Drum will be KO'd here though. Yeah. And I'm guessing a lunar healing or whatever it is. Yeah. Annoying because I'm pretty sure they get rid of the status effects too. Yeah. But no matter what, he'll always have his uh, flame orb. Okay, we got to think here now. Yeah, because they can just sit, keep sitting here and just spamming Earthquake. It's kind of annoying. Um, honestly, I have to go for this again. I mean, Houseman's got pretty decent bulk. I mean, I'll do this just to... Hmm. I think I'm just going to do this here. This is, this is a rough... Okay, so we now need to start paying attention to, like, this is probably a, a highly used combination right now, is uh, Ursulina with uh, Cresselia, because she's, like, crazy bulky. Okay, it didn't work. That's fine. Uh, he's just spamming Earthquake. It doesn't matter. Manessa did a lot of damage to us. But if I get rid of the Cresselia, that gives us a little bit more of a fighting chance. Kind of. Yeah, I don't know if I can... I don't think my team can beat this composition. It's a little too hard. This should do, like, decent damage, I believe. Okay, I just straight up one shot, sir. Well, at least we KO'd something. That's good, right? <laughs> but uh, there's too many turns of Trick Room left to deal with, so...
I mean, he's toxic, but I don't think I can survive that many turns. There's still like three turns, I think, of uh, Trick Room. Oh, there's two. But still, okay, so I'm just going to do this here. We're just going to do this here. I'm just trying to prolong the Trick Room. Stall. I mean, yes, I can do too much damage to Wu Shen just because it's grass typing. I mean, Ezra did a lot to it though. Oh, he crit hit his own Pokemon. I think I just lose both my Pokemon right here, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I just lose both my Pokemon. Uh, the only thing I can think to do is try to go for double protect. I like if I can survive this last turn of a uh, Trick Room, I might be able to turn around. Yeah, I have to go for double protect. I like I have to try. If I don't get this, then I mean it's I, it's GG either way because. Yeah. Oh, Halstone gets it. That's good. But Golden Go does not. Okay, so Golden Go will be KO'd by the Ursaluna. Yep. And one shot by this thing. Because Golden Go does not have the best defenses. Oh boy, this is going great, but I mean, hey, now we're uh, the fastest thing on the field again. If I got a double protect there from both of them, that would have been so game-changing. But hey, we're making this guy work for it. I don't think I can KO the Ursulina from where I'm at. Yep. But we can certainly try. Yeah, like, I, I just... I'm pretty sure he just KOs. I don't I don't think I KO him. Not with its bulk. And my attack being lowered. Oh, we do. Was not expecting that. Alright, so he goes for Leech Seed. I was kind of hoping it would miss. job, I guess. What's your last Pokemon? Grimmsnarl? Okay, so Grimmsnarl can just, like, you know, do anything to me. I cannot do anything with Grimmsnarl. I'm pretty sure I'm KO'd here. By, like, a Sucker Punch or anything, really. And he can just protect on the Wuxin. I, 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 all I do is I try to make the biggest comeback I could. I couldn't even finish KOing it from that range. Okay, yeah, so that's GG. We tried, though. Like, we tried our hardest. That team just really countered us hard. But, yeah. Man. Yeah, there wasn't really much. Uh, there's not really anything I could bring against the uh, Ursaluna. TB, honest. So. That was fun. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the last match. All right, we're heading into our third match. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. I do have one, two, three Pokemon that just ignore my toxic debris. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, I'm trying to think of, like, what I want to do here. Uh, hmm. 
Golden Goat could be interesting. How about we do this? Just because I've not led that yet. Hmm. Actually, no, we'll do it. We'll do it this way. I'll have Golden Goat in the back, and then we'll have. I guess Gastrodon. Yeah, I guess we'll have Gastrodon. I just haven't been able to find a spot where I want to bring Sylvie on yet. As I was thinking about that, I was like, man, if I had Terra flying uh, instead in the, the last match against the uh, Ursaluna, I might have been able to do a lot more with Gl Glamora. Alright, so let's see what they're leading. That's Dark Urshifu, I believe. Dark Urshifu. I don't want to take, like, any hits from that thing at all. Uh... Um, hmm. I guess technically I can do this. And we can do this here, and I can do this just to get some things rolling. We'll see what happens, though. I, I don't know what to expect. He may just one-shot me. We'll never know. But it's nice to know it's not the water one. I mean, T-Tar could die right here. We don't know. Okay, let's go for Dazzling Gleam. It doesn't do too much to us. Alright, so we are faster than he is. He just goes for the Wicked Blow. I mean, that's fair. We got a thing of, of debris up, I guess. I did, I did Terror Blast uh, Fairy, didn't I? Yeah. This should one-shot him. Yeah. I was like, that should just delete him. And we'll be buffeted by it too. And they've poisoned also. Everything they're going to have coming in is going to be poison. Right, I'm going to bring Gastrodon now. Alright, so what are they switching into? I got our Gastrodon. And they bring in... Tornadus. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go for rock slides, and I guess I'm gonna go for icy winds. I don't know why I wouldn't do anything else. I don't know what the Tornadus is gonna do, honestly. We're assault vested on the T-Tar, so we should be able to take a couple more hits, I believe. Tornadus is one of those Pokemon that was highly used in the, the, the World Championships. I guess they're really having to think about what they want to do. Oh, this is good for a Dazzling Gleam. I wonder if it's Choice Spect. Oh, that actually connects. Oh, he crit hit me also. I'm gonna get a double along. We get a rock slide, that's nice. So that's one other target gone. And he'll get KO'd by the Sandstorm. All of a sudden there's only one Pokemon left. <laughs> hey, this worked out pretty well for us. <laughs> and Titar will take a little bit more damage. Well, hopefully whatever's their last Pokemon, um, Golden Go doesn't have a problem with. Our last Pokemon is... Well, that's 
fair. Golden Go does not like this Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll just go for Terra Blast. I'm going to do a recover. I don't know what he's planning on doing, so... Oh, he just goes for Earthquake. That might KO both of us. Okay, so never mind. Landers might just KO both my Pokemon, because, yeah, it's, that's a thing. I think if I had, uh... If I had, um... Houndstone instead, it'd be a little bit different, but... We've got Golden Ghost, so... Golden Ghost is just going to be one shot. By Earthquake. Uh, I mean, we tried. There's just too many counters to the Sandstorm team. Uh, you don't survive a make it rain, do you? Uh, I'm not, I'm not, uh, yeah, I'm not, I don't think we survived this. I'm really surprised at the amount of people running Earthquake in doubles right now. Yeah, I mean, we just, I'm, I get KO'd. It's a single target Earthquake. He'll one-shot us regardless. Are we outspeed it? Oh, that's so saddening. We outspeed it. Oh, I guess he's adamant. Man. If I was the attack version of my Golden Go, we would have KO'd it. Oh, that was so close. Really, if I had anything else there, I probably would have just KO'd it. Like, uh, if I had Houndstone, probably would have KO'd it. Um, I don't know what Sylvan would have done. It, it wouldn't have been super effective against us, but... I mean, Sylveon does a lot of damage. I don't know. There's a lot of factors. But, man. Yeah, Glamora didn't really offer too much because of the amount of Pokemon with Fly and Levitate that people were bringing. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, so there we go. The team did, like, okay. Um, well, that one was really, really close. But uh, I'll probably be doing the, the Snow team next. It just takes me a second now that I'm, like, building new teams for ranked and stuff. So, like, it takes me a while to get them done to do a video. So that's why my videos are a little bit delayed a couple days now. But, um, yeah, if I had to redo this team, I'd probably change out, like... Golden Go and maybe Sylveon for something else. I liked everybody else, so I just need, I would have to like go back and be like, okay, so this Pokemon would probably be better instead of using this, but with all that said, I had fun with the team. Um, since we only got one win, I will not be making it a rental team until I go back in and fix things, but um, if you guys have any suggestions on who you think would be a good fit, let me know, and yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.